Hey friends, welcome back to the channel and welcome to further discussion about this little guy. <laughs> he really, or she, really um, hit a nerve. Uh, it generated a lot of discussion in the comments. So I thought I would do a follow-up video for two reasons. One was I told you that I would get back with you all and update you on whether or not I decided to keep this item or not. So we're gonna go through the exercise of kind of what I normally carry in my clay and see if it works for my purposes and then I can kind of make a decision. And the second thing was there were a couple of you that asked kind of sort of about the same thing, what fits, etc. specifically like lots of cards. So I thought I'd go through that exercise with you. And then after that, we're gonna go through some of the comments on that video and unpack a little of how you all felt about the denim collection. All right, so here is my like regular clay and I realize it's not a regular clay in the sense that it is the Christmas animation, but we're gonna take some things out of here and put them in here. And then I also have just kind of some folded up money here to kind of represent what I might normally carry. It's just three bills, so that's probably about average. And then I've got just some cards. I've got five cards here right now. We'll do more later, but I kind of want to simulate what I would normally carry. So let's take out uh, my keys out of here as well as some coins. So anyway, we're going to put that on here because my keys and coin are definitely something that I always, and I wanna be careful, there's still protective stickers on this hardware and I wanna make sure that I don't do anything to compromise the integrity of this piece. So I'm gonna take just, you know, a handful of coins. We'll put that guy over there and put that in here. So you can see those coins in there. Then I'm going to put, like I said, these are five cards. Already I can tell this is not <laughs> going to be an easy fit with this other things, with these other things in here. Okay, let's see if I take the coins out, put the cards in first. Okay, so I'm just showing you right now, there's five cards in here now and wow. Well, this may be a very quick exercise, you guys, because I can not even quite get this closed and my keys aren't even in here. So yeah, that's not good. So like I said, that was five cards. So let's just go with two cards. Let's say I was going just with my, you know, normal debit card, because my American Express, honestly, I have on my phone, so I could use that. My Target, I only use it at Target because it's a debit card, so I could, just use my Target app for that. So let's just go with my driver's license and our joint debit card, okay? So will those fit? So I've got two cards in here, not the keys, and it is there, but it is tight. Okay, before I even put the, put the coins in there, let's put the keys in there with the two cards. So now I've got two cards and just so you guys know, I only have two keys, one mailbox key, which is like this big and a regular size key. And that, that does close. All right, <laughs> let's add some coin. So now I'm going to put these coins back in. So now you can see I've got the keys, I've got coin and I've got the two cards. Let's see. So you really have to like be pushing down the cards as you're trying to zip it. And it's like really, really tight. Um, so yeah. And now if I try to put these, ooh, put the money in, I'll kind of, I don't even know where I'm gonna put this. Um, I guess kind of in front too, maybe. Oh goodness. Okay, so I've got the dollars in there, you know, the bills, I've got some coins, I've got my keys. Let's see if this will close. I mean, it does, you guys, but it is really, really tight. I mean, the cards are literally sitting right up here. Yeah, that's, that's not good. And as you can see, kind of, it's 
bul I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's bulging here where like my keys are. So let's take this out because like I said, I do not want to do any damage. Okay, and for the subscriber who is asking how many cards you can fit in here, if I put and keep this out, I can fit my the five cards that I had in there and I was able to zip it. <laughs> now, of course, because I'm on camera. Okay, so I am able to zip it as you can see, but I have this out. So I think I have answered my own question, which is whether or not I am going to be keeping this piece. I think it's pretty much a no. I just wanna show you just for kicks and giggles, kind of what a regular clay looks like with all of the things in it that I just tried to get in here, how it fits in a regular one, just so you can see the difference. Okay, so in here right now, and it is, you know, it's it's stuffed. I probably wouldn't carry the amount of coins that I have in here and the number of cards. I'd probably go down to maybe four or three if I was gonna carry this, like if I needed to carry it like on a daily basis. But as you can see, I've got, my keys in here. I've got the, you know, folded over three dollars, three bills. I've got one, two, three, four, five cards. And I've got a lot of change in there, as you can see. I've got a lot. I really honestly should take some of this out because I don't need it. I very rarely use it, but I've only been carrying, I've been carrying this separate. I haven't been using it for my money or cards because I've been carrying my Lisa wallet. So I haven't needed to use this. So from that perspective, it's totally fine, you know, with having that much change in it, just because I don't have that much in it. But my point is <laughs> all of that fit in here, like I said, it would fit even easier if I took out probably half the coins, which I don't need and maybe took one less card, like maybe didn't take my Target card or my American Express or whatever. So only took four instead of five. And this would be 100% usable, not stretching anything, not, you know, making the zipper wonky or anything. So yeah, I would have to say this is a fail. So it will be going back to the boutique, but let's talk about what some of you had to say about the Denton collection. All right, so I have my laptop here so I can see some of the comments that I screenshot that you guys said, and I will pop them up here on the screen. Hopefully I'll be able to get the entire comment there. So this first one is from at Arts and Barts 360. She's a, a great member of the community and always comments on my videos. So she said, hi, you are right on point, Lisa, with this new denim collection. As a designer, I feel the same as you do, very underwhelming and overpriced. My sister has the original collection denim barrel key pouch. It is lined in beautiful golden Alcantara lining. The original denim is fabulous as it is, as is the Vachetta. In my opinion, I would return your denim key pouch for all of the reasons you shared. One of my clients said to me the other day, people need to compare, let's say, the vintage multicolor Louis Vuitton bags to any new collection today. There is no comparison in the former quality, materials, and craftsmanship of the vintage. Thanks for a great video. Well, thank you for your comment. So I really liked this comment, uh, particularly because, like I said, it was coming from somebody with a design background and that had, I guess, to me, carried a lot of weight and meaning to it. This particular piece, the denim clay, is lined. It's not lined in Alcantara, but it is lined in another level of denim. So like there are two denim, there's an interior denim and an exterior denim. So it is in a way lined. It's not lined in the same manner as the vintage pieces, but it is lined. All right, this comment is from Atherton CA587. When I saw the pieces in person, I thought they looked so cheap, disappointed. Yeah, again, just another person who, you know, I think had high hopes, but then when the collection actually launched and she was able to see them in person, was disappointed as was I. 
All right, the next comment is from somebody who did order some, and pre-order some pieces. So this is from Alicia Mullaney, 6634. I pre-ordered the sunset and the key pouch and was completely disappointed. I immediately sent back both pieces. I felt like I was getting played. The quality was so poor. I do not think the denim collection is doing well. Most is still available online. Here's another one of somebody who pre-ordered something and then returned it. I agree with you, exclamation point, exclamation point. This collection was a big disappointment. I pre-ordered the zippy coin purse and ended up returning it. And then the final person who, and not necessarily the final, but the, the, the third comment that I picked out of many who had purchased something and ended up returning it is from uh, Candy Sweet Love for LV. She has a channel here. I will have it linked below. Candy said, I got the backpack and it is going back this week as soon as I can get it to the boutique. I looked at all of them also and just no. So agree about it looking like children made them. Worst collection so far. Thanks for sharing your opinions. Thank you, Candy, for sharing yours. So there are three, like I said, of many others who, like me, had ordered pieces from the collection and then, you know, just were not happy with it. Now, I have some people, in fact, we're gonna read one in just a minute here, who were very happy with their pieces. And I think, as I said on the first video, that if, if you got pieces that you love, that's amazing. Like, I am so happy for you. I wanted to love my piece. And in all honesty, and I, I said this in some responses to some of the comments who talking about quality things, but I feel like the quality of the clay is, is good. I have no problems with the quality of this particular item. I'm returning it because it doesn't suit my needs. So if I only needed to carry my keys and some coins ever, then this piece would work for me. Do I think it's worth the price they're charging though? If I can only use it for those purposes, I don't. So the normal key pouch is $325. The denim key pouch or clay was $505. So $180 more than the original. The Christmas animation ones were $390. So the denim ones are still $115 more than this. Now I realize it's a different material. It's denim versus coated canvas, but this is all, you know, painted, screen printed on here in addition. So I don't really understand and I was kind of willing to look past the price of the denim one even though it hurt my soul a little bit that it was $505 plus tax for the denim one. But if it had been the same size as this and it accomplished all of my needs, I would have been willing to spend that money. I mean, obviously I did, right? I pre-ordered it. So I paid for this back on December 1st. But these comments from people, like I was saying, where, you know, they got pieces and the quality wasn't good, is what I saw of some of these other pieces in boutique. They just didn't seem like they were well made at all. They just had zero structure. And I realize that it, is an unstructured bag, okay? Or most of them, you know, except for probably the on the go. But I did actually happen to see an on the go the other day when I was at Louis Vuitton and it looked, in my opinion, horrible. But let me read you a comment from somebody who does have one of the vintage pieces. All right, so here is a comment from Gwenny. It's styled by Gwenny. Hopefully you guys all follow Gwenny. Again, I will have her channel linked below as well. And Gwenny said, I'm not surprised at all that you felt they're flimsy. It seems to be the thing for LV these days. My denim baggy PM, which is part of the vintage collection, which is a piece that Gwenny added to her collection. It's in an amazing condition and she got it for a really good price. My denim baggy PM has slouch, but she ain't flimsy. <laughs> And I loved her saying that because that's exactly what I felt when I saw, for example, the Hills pochette and the backpack. I get that denim should have slouch. And you guys know I am a slouch lover. I think I said this in another comment to somebody on the video is you guys know 
I'm a fan of slouch, right? I love my puzzle bag because of the slouch. I love my Celine Romy because of the slouch. I love slouch, but there's a difference between slouch and like Gwenny said, flimsy. And that's what I felt like. Now, I think it's really interesting because obviously Meredith has a ton of experience with the vintage pieces. She has a very large collection. I know quite a bit of it right now is at Louis Vuitton for repair, but she does have enough in her collection at her fingertips that she can, you know, compare denim to denim. And by watching her first video, it sounds like she felt like the denim was was on par, that it was the same denim as they used back in 2006. So I don't know what the difference is. Like I said, maybe it's just that some of those pieces don't have the second layer of denim on the inside because having the second layer, like if you looked at Meredith's sunset bag that she revealed, it had slouch, like I said, but it didn't look flimsy. It didn't look like it was like, fl you know, like you could like flop it around or whatever. It had slouch, but it still had some structure to it. That Hills pochette, no, it was like a flat pancake basically sitting on the shelf. I mean, it was ridiculous. Same thing with the backpack. Now, so as not to characterize the comments on my video as 100% agreeing with sort of my assessment of the pieces that I saw in Boutique, is really Flava 340, 3420, excuse me, said, wow, tough crowd. I love the way she started that. I bought the Sunset and I love it. I'm a bit of an Hermes bag snob and I don't think it looks cheap at all. It's very well made and the straps are super cute and it comes with two of them to wear crossbody. The hardware is amazing. It's shiny and clips in buttery smooth. I also got the key pouch. I agree with your assessment of it being tiny bit smaller, but loving it just the same. I don't in any way find these items cheap feeling or looking. And that's fantastic. Like I said, everybody has their own opinion. I'm just sharing mine and I, like I said, am thrilled that she got the sunset and the clay and she loves them both. I mean, obviously she agrees with me on the standpoint that the clay, the denim clay is smaller than, you know, the current version of the clay and, but it, it works for her and that's great. It just doesn't work for me and my needs, especially at the price point. Okay, and the last comment I'm gonna share has to do sort of with uh, how I described the collection as sort of being, you know, look, looking like it was made in home ec kind of thing in a sewing class or whatever. But this person said, and this is uh, Elizabeth M3600, the collection was clearly geared towards teenagers, not my vibe. I agree that it looks cheap, but I'm sure the youngsters will buy it in droves. And then somebody responded to that comment saying, I was thinking the same thing. Clearly this is for the teens and 20s age group. Lisa was on a roll with this looks like something made in home economics or one gets from Claire's, lol. And then I commented finally that I thought that was a really great description that it was maybe geared towards the teenagers. So like I said, I, I really, value Meredith's opinions on this, like I said, because she does own so many of the vintage pieces. But just from, like I said, what I saw and the pieces that, you know, I was able to put my eyes on in boutique, they just didn't seem worth the money at all. I mean, if that Hills Pochette had been $900, I would have said, that's great. You're getting a piece of the denim collection. You know, you can use it as a bag. It's got that cute little handle. And so it's a cute little pouch. Actually, I'm gonna pop a picture up here. I, I just remembered that I took this picture. I was out with Hannah the other day. We were at Brandy Melville and she was looking at the jewelry like wall. And right next to it was like some little accessory bins and whatever. And in one of the accessory bins was this denim like basically cosmetic pouch. It was sort of like a combination of sort of what a dop kit and a cosmetic pouch look like. It's like they had a baby, That's this is what it would look like. And I took a picture of it and you'll see the price here. I think it was like $12.99. Honest to God, this looked better sitting in a basket with a whole bunch of other ones kind of smushed 
in Brandy Melville, then that Hills pochette or Hills pouch, whatever it is, looked like in Louis Vuitton. And I'm sorry, that's pathetic to me that a bag that's $12.99 could look as good, if not better, than something that is, what did I say in the last video? Like 18 something, 1840, it was over $1,800. I don't even wanna do that math as to how much, how many times more expensive the Hills pouch is than that Brandy Melville little denim bag. It was super cute though, I have to say. But anyway, even if it had been 900, so if it was like half the price, I might say, okay, it's cute. And you know, it, it it's definitely gonna, be sort of a saggy bottom bag. I mean, but you know, people think that the Speedies are kind of a saggy bottom bag. And like I said, that might be fine. But for $1,800, I can think of a lot of other things at Louis Vuitton that I would rather spend $1,800 on than that denim pouch. So to those of you who watched my last video, if you didn't for some reason, I will certainly have it linked above in the cards and in the description box below so you can watch that as well. But to those of you who participated and commented on that video, I really, really appreciate it. I think we had some great dialogue. Everybody was very respectful and I really appreciate that because there were people on the other side of the coin who, who you know, I don't want to say disagreed with me, but, you know, stated in their, their own opinion of that they got some of the pieces and they really liked them. And like I said, that's amazing. I'm thrilled about that. So thank you for being respectful in the comments. Um, I assume you guys will be respectful in your comments of this video. Please, you know, if you didn't see that other video or if you didn't have a chance to comment, you know, please drop your comments about the collection in this video down below. Maybe some of you since watching that video have had a chance to see some of these pieces in person now over the weekend. So I would love to hear your thoughts. If, like I said, you hadn't seen it yet, but now you have, I would love to hear your opinions and what as well. Hopefully some other of you love this collection, but it sounds like from the comments on my video, they are getting a lot of returns and that most of the collection is available to order, which I think personally is crazy. I would have assumed that this collection would have been 100% sold out and on, you know, notify me if available on the website for a long, long time. So the fact that most of it you can order right now and Second of all, that a lot of these pieces seem to be making their way back into boutique, I find really sad. And, and I guess that's sort of the, where I wanna end is I feel like this could have been a home run for Louis Vuitton. And instead, I kind of feel like it was a fly out in the outfield. <laughs> um, or, you know, a stolen base and they got picked off if you want another baseball analogy. <laughs> yeah, it just, it could have been so amazing. And I just feel like it was a miss. And I think a lot of you felt like it was a miss too. And I think that's why some of us felt so disappointed is I think we had a lot of anticipation for this collection. You know, some of us of my age and, and you know, those of you in your 40s probably have really fond memories of the, you know, Marc Jacobs era of Louis Vuitton and the denim collection. And we're really hoping to be able to relive some of that, albeit at a much higher price. But I think those of us were willing to pay those higher prices, you know, because maybe we didn't want to buy something on the pre-loved market either. Maybe you're, you know, concerned about authenticity or, you know, the denim collection does have a reputation of not wearing necessarily that great. So you really have to be careful about the pieces that you're buying and making sure you're getting lots of photos and that you know it's in good condition. So for those of us or those of you who didn't want to go through that process, I could see where buying something from this new collection seemed really enticing. And so, like I said, I think that's where some of this real kind of angst <laughs> and disappointment is coming through in the comments. So again, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really, really appreciate you sharing some of your time with me today. If you enjoyed the video, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, it doesn't cost anything, but it means a lot to me. So click the subscribe button down below in the notification bell so you know when I upload videos. If you haven't had enough of me yet, I will pop another video up here for you to watch. 
And wherever you are, I hope you are having an amazing day or evening, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. Thank you.